This video is going to continue to cover the topic of surface area. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question is how do we find the surface area of non-rectangular prisms? We'll also talk about some other 3D shapes that are not prisms. We already know that surface area is the area it takes to cover around the outside of a 3D shape. However, up until this point, we have only calculated surface areas of rectangular prisms. So right now we're going to look at finding the surface area of non-rectangular prisms. Specifically, we'll look at triangular prisms as well as pyramids. And while we won't specifically cover cylinders in this video, it would also work for cylinders, something that we'll see a little bit later when we circle back and find how to work with circles. So let's start by taking a look at this triangular prism. So I've sketched this out. It's not to scale by any means, but I do have certain information labeled. So to find the surface area, I need to find the area of all the surfaces. That's nothing new, right? But when I look at this, I can see that there are a few different shapes, which is different from what we've done before. I see that there are two triangles. I also see that there are three rectangles, one that it's sitting on, and then two on the left and the right. This might be a little easier to see if I open it up as a net. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch my net for this. You can go ahead and sketch your net as well. With my net in place, I'm going to go ahead and actually label the values for the lengths of sides that I need to calculate the areas. What I notice is that I need to fill in the length of this side, right? But what I see here is that this triangle is an equilateral. So the side here, oh, excuse me, what I need is, yeah, this side. The side here was 8. So all of around this triangle is 8 which also means that this, when it was folded up and touching here, since this was an equilateral triangle, this was 8, and so touching it was also 8. So I have 8 by 12 rectangles, I have another 8 by 12 rectangle, a third 8 by 12 rectangle, and I have a triangle here that is 8 along the bottom, and my height here is 3. So Sorry, that got a little messy here, but that's where all my numbers are coming from. So now I just need to find the surface area of each piece, right? So I'm going to break this up. This triangle here, the base and height are 8 and 3, but I'm going to, of course, divide that in half. In this example, our second triangle happens to have the same area, so I'm just going to record that again. My rectangle is 12 by 8, and in this example, all three of my rectangles are actually identical, so I just need to mark those two more times. With all of my pieces in place, I simply now need to find the total of all of the areas to find the total surface area. The total surface area of this shape would work out to be 312 centimeters squared. Right? So it's the same process, it just means I have to look for the shapes and know that some of the shapes are things other than rectangular. Let's turn our focus now onto the surface area of pyramids. I can see from the 3D shape that the surface area is going to be calculated by finding the surface of four triangles and one square. If I open it up to make a net, it will look something like this. Using my information from my original 3D shape, I'm going to go ahead and label the information that I need. So I know that this is six centimeters and it's a square, right? So I know that this side is six centimeters as well. I can also tell from this poorly drawn line up here that the height of this triangle is 12 centimeters. Okay. And luckily for me, because this is a square pyramid, all four of these triangles are identical. Every single one of these is going to be the same. So if I find the area for one of them, I know the area of all of them. So the area of my square, of course, it's a 6 by 6 square is simply going to be 36 square centimeters, whereas the area of my triangle has a base of 6, a height of 12, but then of course I need to cut that in half. And that will actually also work out to be 36 centimeters. But I have that four times because I have four identical triangles thanks to the fact that they are built around a square, which of course has identical sides. So once I know all of the area of all of my surfaces, 
I simply need to add it together to find the total surface area. So here we know that the surface area of this square pyramid is 180 square centimeters. And remember our essential question of this video was how to find the surface area of shapes other than rectangular prisms. So we did two examples. One was a triangular prism and one was a pyramid. Basically, we've seen that all we need to know is to break it into shapes and find the area of all the shapes, whether it's squares, rectangles, triangles, perhaps sometime in the future it might be um, circles or hexagons, but whatever the case may be, we break it into parts, find the area of each part, and combine it to find the surface area.